appears that voters have rejected the controversial referendum on the ballot. It would have given City Council the green light to raise the real estate transfer tax on high-end property transactions. Mayor Brandon Johnson and progressive supporters had hoped it would generate revenue that would help Chicago's unhoused population. The measure has been fiercely contested in court by a coalition of real estate and development groups, but passionate supporters last night said they will wait for every mail-in ballot to be counted and they plan to keep fighting. Opponents maintain Bring Chicago Home would raise rents. We're not going to give up. There are over 100,000 absentee ballots that need to be counted. Our struggle will continue. I felt like it was going to cause uh, a lot of rent increases around the low-income community. It was going to destabilize housing uh, for, for tenants that have been fighting to uh, have stable housing. They're paycheck to paycheck. Illinois Realtors released a statement saying in part that whatever the result, this is not a time for celebrations and quote, it's time to come together and find real solutions that provide real housing stability to everyone in our city. Again, supporters say this is not the result they wanted and it does appear that Bring Chicago Home is headed for defeat. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.